Hey, what's going on guys? Darius here bringing you another Photoshop tutorial and uh, this one's gonna be on the battlefield effect and uh, it sounds hard but it's actually pretty easy to do and uh, what it is, it's achieving this uh, light uh, on the arm and on the weapon here and uh, just on the left side of the body of the battlefield character and uh, you can actually apply this to uh, any render you choose so uh, we're just gonna hop in the tutorial and just learn how to do it so I'm just gonna delete this render here and uh, import one of my renders and uh, you can actually choose any render you want but I decided to go to something more fitting and uh, where is that mass effect free render there it is and I'm just gonna import this into Photoshop and uh, it's this mass effect free render just gonna copy it and uh, put it on my uh, battlefield free background uh, I'm gonna gonna leave the background uh, in the description so you can also download it so I'll make sure to check that out and uh, let me just delete this render tag thingy and now that that's clear let me just convert this into a smart object so uh, I can resize it and not lose uh, quality and uh, just gonna press control T on the keyboard and make it a bit smaller right about here that should do and now we have to work on adding a uh, bluish color like uh, on this one here see as, as it's uh, here it's like uh, black and white ish but uh, it also leaves a bit of color hint and uh, then you have the light under the uh, arm so I'm just gonna go back to the render here and I'm gonna make a new gradient map so I'm gonna select here this button here and I'm gonna select gradient map and uh, here you can uh, uh, actually select the color that you want your render to be so I'm gonna go to this uh, really grayish blue which is around here the color is 475461 and uh, going to a lighter blue which is 8092A1 and I'm gonna leave this here and right now I'm gonna right click the gradient map and select create clipping mask and this is actually good, just going to apply this, uh, this gradient map only to this render here and I'm gonna select the blend mode to color see and now as you can see our render is uh, more bluish and it fits more with the background let me just zoom in a bit and uh, see yeah the colors are pretty nice right now I really like it like this uh, I'm gonna actually probably just remove it around the uh, Omni tool uh, just gonna select my mask here from the from the gradient map and select the brush a soft brush tool a uh, soft uh, eraser tool sorry and just gonna erase it so we still have the Omni tool with the color because that's what I want uh, and now that this is done we can actually click on our render and uh, rasterize it and if you don't already have it rasterized and this will allow us to merge the gradient with the render so I'm just gonna select these two layers by holding control on the keyboard and I'm just gonna right click and select merge layers and this is gonna leave our, our uh, render here colored uh, like this and uh, now we can add the battlefield effect on uh, the side of the body so I'm just gonna make a new layer and uh, this one's gonna be our uh, battlefield effect layer so I'm gonna select this double click it and type uh, let's see orange color because this is gonna be the orange part of the of the battlefield effect now I'm gonna right click it and select uh, create clipping mask and this is gonna create a clipping mask of the of the um, of this layer here to the uh, render let me just name this render so I don't get confused I'm gonna select my orange color and if I actually brush right now as you can see it covers only the render let me just do that and uh, I'm gonna zoom in a bit I'm gonna select this orange color here what's the name pure red orange and just gonna brush with a, a big 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 hardness zero uh, brush tool on the side where I want the effect to be applied so uh, yeah this should do and put the layer on overlay mode and this is gonna look like this right now it doesn't look too good it looks a bit bluish so just duplicate this just drag this orange color drag it on onto here on this new layer icon and it's gonna see now it looks more uh, like this one here it looks more uh, overlaid I don't know how to say it but it just looks better and uh, now we have to take care of the uh, or the uh, yellow color sorry and so I'm gonna make a new layer on top of everything and I'm gonna call this yellow color yellow, <laughs> yellow. <laughs> okay <laughs> sorry. Uh, I'm gonna right click this and select create clipping mask 
and now I'm going to go to yellow here and with the same brush I'm going to click once or twice around here and now I'm going to put this on overlay again and uh, now that gives it a bit of a more awesome cool effect uh, more more like this one here and I'm just going to actually duplicate this too and uh, there you go that, that looks really nice we're almost done let me just lower the opacity and uh, now let's add some smoke because I saw that on the original you actually have some smoke coming up uh, coming up the arm here and uh, you actually have a light over here on top so I'm gonna make a new layer I'm gonna go to uh, my brush tool here choose a big brush tool I'm gonna select white uh, soft brush and just gonna click like that and I'm gonna go to filter uh, blur and then motion blur where is it there we go motion blur and I'm just gonna put the size to about yeah maximum should do like this I'm going to duplicate this layer, I'm going to move it a bit to the left, and I'm going to select these two, holding control, I'm going to right click and select merge layers, and now I'm just going to move it back so it's in the center like this, and I'm going to lower the opacity, there we go, about 39 should do. Now we're actually going to add our uh, smoke, so I'm going to go uh, under this, um, this uh, light layer gonna go under this light layer and click on yellow color copy and I'm gonna go to my uh, smoke stocks folder here and I'm just gonna drag in the smoke uh, you're actually gonna have this uh, in the description the smoke I mean so uh, don't worry about it and I'm just gonna resize it a bit press enter and I'll put this on uh, screen and uh, as you can see the smoke is a bit uh, too much right now so I'm just gonna simply grab my eraser tool and I'm uh, going to rasterize this, this layer because it's going to be a smart object and I'm going to just erase the smoke around here and uh, leave it only on the parts I, I wanted it to be like this I'm going to duplicate this again and put it about here on top I'm going to erase it a bit more and just a bit more here and there you have it that's basically how you achieve the uh, battlefield effect and uh, you can actually uh, play around more uh, if you want to you can add some uh, dark color on the, the bottom so it covers the legs and stuff like that and uh, you can add more curves to the to the, uh, to the render so I'm gonna go here and select curves and going to make it a bit darker you know just blend it in a bit more make it look more uh, battlefield ish <laughs> and uh, yeah that looks pretty nice and the fun thing about this is that you can actually apply it to anything. So, uh, yeah, you can be, you can be yourself. Yeah, you can actually be uh, like if you're cosplaying uh, Battlefield Free and uh, you need someone to Photoshop yourself. Uh, somehow, you can actually grab this background and uh, do this effect. Or uh, you can use uh, some other games render, like from uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare Free. I don't know. <laughs> it's gonna be like uh, Modern Battlefield Free or something. <laughs> Yeah, that was a joke. That That's not going to happen. <clears throat> okay, make sure to check out my other videos, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Cheers, guys. It's super time. La, 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 la. <clears throat> Gotta clean my throat. God damn it. <clears throat> Fuck. And uh, for the purpose of this... Of this okay. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm gonna... <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I'm so stupid. Okay, Mesha.